Hey, how's it going guys, Cezo here. So in today's video, I will show you how to transform your desktop from this to this. So first of all, let me show you what you guys will need. So I made a little folder here with all the programs required. So as you can see, I have a required folder and an optional folder, which pretty much speaks for itself. So what you will need is the Microsoft Store, which is most likely already pre-installed on your PC. If not, then you should get it. Then what you will get from the Microsoft Store are two apps, which are one Translucent TB or Translucent Taskbar and Icons 8 Pishon. So first of all, I'll show you how to change your taskbar into something like this. So first of all, you want to unlock your taskbar. Second, you want to go into toolbars and enable links. Now this is what your taskbar will most likely look like right now. Also, do not forget to turn off the search bar as it will look a bit clunky if you leave it on. So once you did all of that, you'll see your taskbar will be looking like this. You see you have links on the bottom right with two stripes right beside it. Now you want to drag these two stripes to the very left. You want to drag them across all the icons. It will resist a little bit, but once you drag it to the very left, the icons will move to the right. Now, as you can see, you have two more strips here, which you can also move to the left and freely move the icons. Now you can center the icons as you wish. A tip from me would be not to center them directly, but move them a little bit to the right, because when you lock the taskbar, the icons will shift to the left. So I almost got a first try there, pretty much. But well, something like this will work, maybe a bit more to the right, but that's up to you to figure out the perfect spot for it to be centered. So once you have this done, that's pretty much it with the centering part. Now we're going to TB, translucent TB, whatever you want to call this. So to make the taskbar clear, you want to right click on the TB when you open up this arrow. Right click once again. And you want to make sure that everything from regular up to timeline opened is set to clear. So as you can see, regular is clear, maximize window is clear, start menu is clear, Cortana is clear, and timeline opened is also clear. That will make sure that your taskbar is clear at all times, whether you have your um, browser open or if you have something else open like Discord, your taskbar will remain clean. So that's pretty much it with the taskbar part. So moving on, we have icons that push on. So you want to open this. As you can see, I already typed something in because I wanted to change my audacity icon. But if you X out of here, this is what it should look like for you. You'll probably be on all when you start. So the first thing you want to do is move on to the color section and select white. I obviously can select any color you want, but for this tutorial, I will be going with white. Now you select the file type to ICO, which is an icon uh, file type. So yeah, speaks for itself. You can change the icons as long as the file type is the ICO. Then you select 64 PX and you select these two. So you have the highest quality possible without having to pay. If you pay, then you can get these four file types as well as these two sizes. But as you can see, these icons look pretty nice anyway, even though they're only 64 pixels. So next is um, selecting the theme. So I went with Windows 10 because it has a nice little outline theme going on. You can obviously select whatever you want. Like for example here, gradient line is like a nice little retro vibe going on. So if you're really into retro, then you can go for this one. I'll stick to Windows 10 for the sake of the tutorial. So now to ease up the process, I would make a new folder wherever you want. I'll just make it on desktop, color icons. Now open up the folder, I just put it to the side. Now, as you can probably tell, the programs that are the most important for me are pinned to my taskbar and you can see them right here. So you probably have the same thing done with probably different programs, but the premise is the same. The programs that are the most important for you are pinned to the taskbar for ease of access. So we will be changing those icons in today's tutorial. So depending on what you have, you'll type in the name of the program or game or whatever you have pinned. So for example, Spotify. I type in Spotify, and as you can see, I have a nice little Spotify icon right here. Just make sure that it's still on 64 because sometimes it can change randomly. Now, all you have to do is click and drag the Spotify icon from the app into the folder, and you already have the icon here ready to go. Now you can do this with every other application you wish. So Steam, for example, just drag it in there, boom. Discord, which 
most of you probably will use. Boom. And if you don't use Discord, then you probably use TeamSpeak, which you can also drag. This is the newest one, so I'll just drag this one in here. Now this is how you save the icons, but I'll show you how to apply them right now. So let me just find a game or an application real quick and show you how to do this. So for example, I have Battle.net that I would want to change. Press Windows key, then type in Battle.net, right click, open file location, and this will open the folder in which the Battle.net is located in. So then I'll right click on it, change icon, click on browse, and then look for the folder where the icons are located. So before I look for the folder with the icon, let me just save it real quick. So here's the folder from today's tutorial. Now I'll just type in battle, and I can already see the battle.net icons right here. So these ones are pretty much the same, I think, so I'll just drag any one of them in here. I go back to the battle.net properties. As I showed you, I click on change icons, browse, then I go to desktop with the new folder that I've made, and as you can see, here's the battle.net icon. I click on OK, I click on apply, OK again. Then I go back to the battle.net folder, and I can just drag it to the taskbar. And as you can see, I've pinned the battle net application and it also has its new icon. So that's looking pretty good. So it is a bit tedious, but you will have to repeat this process with each icon you want to change, but you will most likely not have that many applications pinned to your taskbar anyway. So you'll probably have to do it like a couple times and then you're done. So also one thing I'd like to mention is with some applications, it's not that easy to change the, the icon of. So, for example, Steam, I couldn't just type in Steam because for some reason it didn't even show up. So I had to go to where my Steam folder is located, which is this PC, then it's on my D drive, program files 86, Steam, and as you can see, steam.exe is right here. So what you have to do is click on Steam.exe, then right click, send to and then desktop create shortcut that will create a shortcut of the steam application and then i just repeat the process as i did with the other applications so right click properties change icon browse locate the folder with the icons select the icon okay apply okay and that's it and then i'll just pin it to the taskbar and that will have the new icon i have already changed my steam icon so i won't do it but that's how you do it anyway but you get the purpose so once you have done that with each and every single application you want to change the icon of, your desktop should look quite similar, apart from the background, but you should have the taskbar looking like this, and you should have the icons changed as well. Now moving on to the optional part, which is wallpaper engine. As you can see, my background is animated, and it just makes my desktop look a bit more lively. Obviously you don't have to get wallpaper engine, it's 3.99 in euros, Know that you can also get an animated background and more with an application called Rainmeter, which is free to download. Anyways, I hope I could help you transform your desktop into something way nicer than it was before. If you enjoyed the video, then please don't forget to like and subscribe as well as comment down below what kind of tutorial you would like to see next. I'll most likely start uploading more tutorials on various different things, so yeah, be on the lookout for that. And yeah, thank you for watching guys and see you in the next one. Bye bye.